Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to draw a decision tree for the given parity function. In parity function, if you have even number of t's, then the class will be t. If you have odd number of t's, if you look at here, 1, 2, 3, odd number of t's are there, the class will be false here. Similarly, we have to first create this particular uh, truth table. Sometimes uh, you will be given a truth table, you can continue building the decision tree from there onwards. Now, if you want to understand how to draw the decision tree for this particular uh, parity function we need to start evaluating this particular function from left to right so leftmost uh, operand is a here so we will start with a as the root node in this case because uh, a has two possibilities if you look at this particular column a has one possibility as true another possibility as false so we will create two edges here the first one is true and second one will become false here now when a is true or when a is false we need to look at the next one that is the next possibility is b here so what b can be b can be either true again or it can be false over here similarly when a is false we have to check what is the status of b here again so either b can be true here or it can be false in this particular case with the same note uh, the next one is c so when a is true b is true c can be either true or it can be false over here and when this is the case again it is can be true or it can be false over here the same no thing we have to draw it completely here so that is what i have done over here now once you uh, draw this particular part of the decision tree we need to assign the labels or the classes for this one so how can we assign that particular thing you can see here that is a is true b is true c is true and then d is true the for that one class is true here so we need to assign true here and when it comes to this particular slide, the class is F over here. So we need to assign that particular F. The same thing has to be repeated for all these particular possibilities. Once you assign uh, these particular labels to each and every uh, path here, the final decision tree looks uh, something like this. So in this uh, video, I have discussed how can we draw decision tree for the given uh, parity function. This is a very simple procedure you can follow to draw decision tree for any parity function or the Boolean functions also. I have solved uh, other examples uh, on the top of uh, boolean functions. The link for that example is given in the description below. Do follow that link to understand uh, how to draw decision tree for the boolean functions also. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.